Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. And today we're going to be working on a slider. So I think that's going to be fun. It'll be a little interactive element. I'm going to do my first one in the Tea Party uh, journal. So you'll get some sneak peeks there. And uh, But before we do that, thank you to everyone who purchased things in my Etsy shop. Um, I have a lot of new uh, different varieties of the piano rolls right now with really neat tabs and stuff. So I was going to grab some and show them to you, but I forgot. So I don't have it. But uh, yeah, you can check it out there and let's get started. So I will we'll do a little, little, little peek a in the old, in the new, because I'm just, you know, putting everything together finally in little bunnies. So we've got this page open and this says tea time on it. That's fun. This one. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. That's pretty. That might be nice for a little slider. I don't know. Um, it's not a whole lot of room. Maybe I think maybe I'll do one that goes up and down perhaps. So if we can find of course the tablecloth one turned out so cute oh i love it love it okay this is kind of neat this might work and then the uh, slider might work also as a, a belly band so we could do maybe like this and the teapot will go up and down with this oh i love that so pretty uh yeah i think that could work I didn't think I was going to find one so early in the book. Okay, yeah, and then we'll just go up and down. Can we do it? Can we do it? I think so. Okay, uh, first thing we're going to need is some, well, no, let's, let's start out with, um, oh goodness, which where way to start. Let's clip our book open. So we've got that and we don't lose our page. And we'll scoot our book over here. And I have these. They're little die cuts. Uh, I got them from some pack of something or other. So I'd really wanted to use them. Um, I believe that you could, you sh well, it, obviously, if you have like a Cricut or a die cut machine, you might have some of these uh, in your set. If not, you can always use your, your X-Acto knife craft cut and just, you know, the easiest way to do it is to take a piece of paper and, well, draw an outline of what you want. And then let's just say, I can, I think I can write on this. It'll be fine. Um, oh, pencil. So let's just say, um, I want my lines to be like this. Then what you do is you take your craft knife and you cut in the center. Let me, let's get close up. Oh, why do I use colored pencils? You can't see those lines at all. Not a bit. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. So one of your cuts would be like this maybe, and then you do your X-Acto knife in the middle. And once you get that, then you can take your scissors and go outward, you know, and, and then cut it out. So once you got that stabby line in the middle, stabby line, sorry. Uh, <laughs> words are hard sometimes. I don't think I need two pairs of scissors. Okay, I got a pair of scissors. Let's see. So now I need to pick one of these that I think would fit. Uh, one of these I think would just, it would fit like any, any kind. Uh, smaller elements, this may fit. So this one, I think is a good size right there. So we're going to use that and then we need some ribbon and it's going to be invisible so it doesn't matter. Some ribbon that's the similar width to this. You don't want it to be too skinny because then it won't work. So ribbon, let's just see here. I've got all of these. I think the ones that are a little bit more satin like work better. So if they're a little silky or satiny, they're going to just slide better. So that's how you've got that. 
So it's going to slide through like so. Um, I do like the pink, but I might go with the green. I think it still fits with my... So the green is my top option right now. I also have all of these. I could just use like all my like bias tape and seam binding and all that. A lot of it's very satiny, but some of it is a little bit. Oh, that's a nice color. That would go really nicely. Would it fit my? I'm just. I don't want it to, you know, wobble around too much. So my my teapot is gonna go is gonna be able to go a little like this <laughs> if if your stuff is a lot skinnier i could try closing that off and making it not so um wide of a hole i don't see why we can't do that i'm just gonna do it i'm gonna take some paper take some of this just Put a little line off there. And I do want it centered, so I'll do a piece across the top and a piece across the bottom. Like that. And that'll work just fine. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just <laughs> closing that up a little bit. Where do I want my glue? There we go. Not too bad. I mean, I don't want it to go through. Try that. See how that works. I think that's going to work. Okay, so that's our little dealy whirly gig. So I'm going to put my ribbon through and should be able to free flow through there like that. And let's just see here. It might be nice. Okay, so then is that how I want it? Yeah, I guess so. That, that's not really the right direction I wanted, but it'll work. Uh, okay, so this is how my ribbon's going to go and my teapot. I think it might be nice to kind of leave some extra to dangle off the end. I don't know. I'll, if, I, if I don't find anything that I want to do with it, then I'll just cut it off. But I think for now, I'll just have it be extra. Okay. So I'm going to get some uh, fabric glue and it may, oh, wrong drawer. it may leave a little bit of mark on the ribbon, but we can always cover that up with something up above it. So essentially this is a slider, but it's also going to be a belly band. Like that pretty pretty taut I think is a good idea just gonna squish that right down there is that even on the page I don't know it looks like a little crooked okay We're good. We've got it. And then we're going to need to glue this on here, but we don't want to glue any area that has anything to do with that ribbon. So we're just going to do all the way around the edge of this. We can do a little up here around the edge, a little over here. So we're keeping it pretty far away from from the ribbon. 
So as of now, this is our slider. We can take our little, oh, we got some glue oozing. So we can take our glue. Okay, I'm gonna get my ribbon out of the way. So we can see what we're doing here. All right. And then this can just go right in there to the side maybe. And then this can slide up and down like so. That's cool. Neat. And sometimes if you can think of a way to put something in the background where it looks like it's moving in the background or going somewhere, I don't know. I just love this little owl. Isn't he cute? I knew this was going to happen. This is one of those antiquarian stickers. And they just don't stick on their own. It's It stuck pretty good at first, but it wasn't going to stay. Okay, so we got like half of it down. And we'll peel up the top. And glue the top down. There we go. That's better. And we have a little journaling card there. Or I could just put glue this down here if I wanted and have it go like this, then it, they don't touch each other. What do you think? I don't know. Those are cute though. I'm, I'm For now, I'm happy with that. Let's do another one. I've got some other ideas and I'm excited to try them. Okay. So I think another one, I'm going to do it right in the book. I don't think you have to. I think you can create like a card just like you would with a card. Like let's say, you know, you've got a card that's about this size and you, you know, open it up and um you know so you just do your slider on here and then later on you can put your card right in your journal so okay so let's do one this is my uh idea journal We're getting lots of ideas in the back of it um let me just see if I've got any spots that I can share. Share a page. Some of these, I mean, I don't really. Can do it. Oh, I was at the our mall today and I saw they had Reader's Digest books, but they were cut in the shape of letters. Oh my goodness. But the book was, you know, functional. I mean, there were major chunks of it cut away, but oh my gosh, there was an Amber Sam. It was very cool. I thought it was very neat looking. It was cool. All right. So I'm thinking it might be neat to use one of these with like a butterfly. Um almost like do a small one like a butterfly you know like yep so this one would go this way and the butterfly could be like smelling the flowers or something oh here's a small one that's kind of a cool idea this butterfly is kind of abstract too abstract i think for that you could put one on like this which way does it go yeah so like this And it would go across the page like that or up and down. I think up and down is probably better for these pages because then you get more width out of it. Um, okay, let's think about some ribbon that would match this blue butterfly. Any of these, any of these. These are all kind of odd colors. The green, the green would work. I have a piece of it. Let me use that piece. Yeah, this is like a, must have done something with it. Just kind of trim it. Oh, this piece will work. That will work. Is 
I might want to put some kind of paper behind it. Oh, I've got that window I did. I could do the window. This paper is nice, but there's just too much of it. Too much on the page. All right. Um, oh, my tearing ruler. Where are you? Sometimes I just put it in the weirdest places. Just weird places. I think that'll work. Just tear that there. So that can go like that. And then I could just maybe put the window there. I don't know. There's a pocket right here. Oh, I think it'll. Well, maybe not the window. We'll find something else. Oh my goodness. I got this little house. That might work. This is really eclectic, right? <laughs> We'll make it, we'll make it look like something good. I swear. <laughs> I've got some greens going. So I've got the green and the ribbon and the blue with, so I think, I think we can, we can make it look good. We can do it. Get our glue down. glue on my jeans. Okay. That's how that's going to, oh, I glue that right on there. What the heck are you doing? I don't know. It's silly. Okay. I love these little pictures of cottages. I put a bunch of them in my tea party journal. Okay. We need some collage. We need some some base and some of these. So let me use that. And we'll we'll jazz the rest of it up later. Let's do this. Okay, where which one of these are we gonna use? This one? I think the blue one. I think that the butterfly will blend in but we'll have to go this way. I think this is a sticker. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. I, I don't need the sticker, so I might as well just leave the background on it. Yeah, thanks for talking me through that. All right. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wind the ribbon through. And it looks like the ribbon, the, the ribbon, the ribbon is okay. Let's check and see if this works or if it's going to be too hard to move it's a little too hard to move so now what um i had wasn't there another one another small one hmm. i thought there was and i lost it it's probably the same size I don't know. It's gone. What about this? This one's wide enough. Does it look funny with the butterfly? I don't think so. I think it'll do. They kind of go together. They kind of blend. Okay. So we take the ribbon through the back, over the middle, just like that. Yeah. Oh, mm. sorry about that. Just whack a noodle it. Okay. Too much is better than too little. That's the theory I'm going with right now. All right. <laughs> This is a liquid stitch, stitchless sewing, permanent, clear, dry, adhesive. 
you can get it at all your crafty stores, especially like Joann's. That's where I got mine, I'm pretty sure. I think you can get it at Walmart, too. Yep, I think so. Okay, we're going to leave that for a minute and let it set a little bit. And I think we can add maybe some pretty stuff somewhere to this. Maybe. Does this go all the way through? I don't know. I need like a little bookmark. Oh, it does. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Good to know, right? <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. Yeah, we went to the mall. I haven't been to the mall in a long time. I should have done this before, right? Yep, mm -hmm. should have. Oh, now I found it. And it was wider, too. Oh, dang. Is it too late? No, it isn't. Hold on. <laughs> Don't go back. Oh, man. It's not too late. Hopefully it's not too late. <laughs> oh, the whole thing's coming apart. What did you do? I pushed my luck. I think we're good we're good okay now we're gonna glue a line around here not on your ribbon just don't touch where the ribbon is should be fine all oh, be good hold it down la 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 okay and then to the slider. I still don't know what I got going on with this page, but I'm hoping um, I can find some things that make it all make it all be make sense, right? Right. <laughs> Hopefully, it will make sense. Yeah, that'll work. Put this piece down. This is, this goes with it nicely. Let's go mint. Mint style. There we go. And what's with my glue a little bit? Okay, I need a border. Nope, I don't like that one. Let's see here. Maybe this one? I like it better. I could do it on the top and bottom, just cut it in half. Hey, Amy. Hi. <laughs> you just watching me do a video. You're just gonna watch me do a video? Yep. Sweet. All right, so if I put this border on here, how does that look? That looks good. Good, awesome. It's nice when I get actual feedback and I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Did you have fun at the mall today? Yeah. Good. I'm just worried about my mom. Oh yeah. Ginny fell at the thing right on the curb. Yeah. That's I you just don't like it when people fall. Yeah, it's me just, either. No good. We don't no want good. it. Mm -mm. You got up, you know, I mean, yeah, said didn't. Her. Yeah, we helped her up and she said she was okay. And then we went shopping. It was right when we first got there. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, 13 more days till Christmas. 13 days till Christmas? Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. I'm I'm so glad I just had to do uh, my mom for a gift. Yeah. Did you get to do your advent chocolate today? Yep. Okay. Didn't miss it. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. good. 
Oh my goodness. I have been thinking about this for a while. I wonder if I can split this and bead, put beads on here. Yeah, maybe. It, maybe. Hopefully I didn't cut too much off. Probably should have left it long first. Oh well. Oh well. Too late. Ah, oh, beads. Do I have any beads? I think I do. Down here. I got them. Okay. Them. All right. A couple beads. Yeah, I grabbed my um sweatshirt. Is it getting cold in here? No. Um. No, I grabbed my other purple sweater that you had. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Yep. Good. Good, good, good. Thank you for lending it to me. You're welcome. I was, I was, oh, never mind. We're not going to bring that up. Oh, <laughs> I remember why I needed that. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying that Celeste said to me, did you know that your pants were ripped in the back? I was like, what? No. <laughs> And they were laughing at me. I had no idea. That was that was that was funny. And then Donald was like, "That was there yesterday too." And I'm like, "You did not let me go to wear this two days in a row." Oh my gosh! He was like, "I didn't want to say anything." I was like, "You just admitted it right now." <laughs> I'm just watching you do your video. Uh huh. There, just split it and do some beads at the end. Yeah. That worked out. I want another one of those. There's no way there's two of those in there. I don't even know why it was in there. These are like plastic ones. I think I saw like a sort of a green one. Yeah. So I could do this one and this one. Okay, I'll do three. We'll see how this works. So the, um, the paper clip, the paper clip. Yeah, no, that is a paper clip. <laughs> oh, words. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. First we put it through. Hope and hope and hope. Oh, this is a putsy thing. Putsy, putsy, putsy. Oh, there, I got it. Yay. Okay, this one should be easier. The hole is much bigger. So that's good news. Yep. Good news. Goodness. <laughs> this is a going very well. I might have to give up. Okay, look. I've got two beads on there. <laughs> Those look cute though. Yeah. And the page looks much better now. I think I could use like a flower right there. Then it will be excellent. And hopefully it will be I feel like I could even do some different stuff in here. Oh, this is pretty. I just like that. I don't know. It's different. Okay, we're doing it. I'm doing it. I just like it. I like it. I like it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. And there is like a pocket here, like a slider pocket. Oh, yeah. Right through this section here. So that's something I can put in. I can add something to it, too. I don't know. Not today. But there we go. See this little butterfly? He goes up and down. <laughs> that's cool. Isn't that neat? Yeah. I was going to do another one, but I think yeah, we're at 30 minutes. So I really wanted to do like one of these like little people and put them on and then they go. I could put her on with the wings actually. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. Look at that. Yes, because then she's like flying on the wings. Yeah. She's got wings. Ho oh. ho. Okay, let me do this. Got too excited about it. Okay, so she's like this. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm going in for a close-up. Here we go. Ta-da! Look at her. <laughs> How 
How fun is that? And she kind of she goes like this a little bit. That's okay. Look at Yeah. She kind of rides up and down. That's cool. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I just want to do this all day with these things, but I won't. I won't. All right. Well, I think that's it. We're going to wrap it up. So thank you so much for coming along. And if you're interested in seeing more videos, you can always subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me and my channel grow. So I appreciate that. And don't forget about the giveaway. If you haven't uh, saw the Edith Holden little booklet folio uh, giveaway I've got going on this week, you better check it out because all you have to do is uh, comment with your well, the, you check out the video, and the video tells you how to do it, but you you say your favorite junk journal colors, so you just comment that right on that video in order to win. Amy, you can't win. Sorry. No. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. All right. As always, thanks for coming along, and I'll talk to you later.